So to do these kinds of problems, there's two kinds of problems. The first kind is called an equal values, and those are the easiest ones to do. That's when you have problems where both of them are already solved for y. So for example, you might have y equals negative 4x minus 22, and y equals 7x plus 22. And then what you do is you take, since these are both equal to y, you take the first part, negative 4x minus 22, and you set it equal to the second one. And then you just solve that new equation. So in this case, I'm going to get the variable to the right side, so I get negative 22 equals 11x plus 22. Now it's just a sad meg problem. And so I subtract 22 from both sides, I get negative 44 equals 11x, and so x equals negative 4. And so what I did was I took this, set it equal to this, because they're both equal to y, and then solved it, and I found x. And now that I know what x is, I pick either one of these two equations, it doesn't matter. I'm going to pick the first one, and I take y equals negative 4 times x, and I found that x was negative 4, that's just a coincidence that they're both negative 4, minus 22, and so that equals 16 minus 22, and so y equals negative 6. So I get negative 4 and negative 6, so my answer is negative 4 comma negative 6. Now, if I want to check my answer, I can put negative 4 in here. 7 times negative 4 is negative 28, plus 22 is also negative 6. And so that gives me a pretty good idea that I got it right. That is the equal values method. Now, true substitution is when only one of the equations is solved for y. So, for example, you might have something like um, y equals negative 7x minus 9 and negative 2x plus 6y equals negative 10. So notice the first one solved for y but the second one is not. So what I do is I take the equation that is not solved for y and I start writing it down and as soon as I get to the y I pause and I put open parenthesis and I put what y equals. So in this case, y equals negative 7x minus 9 from that first equation. And then I continue writing this, in this case, equals negative 10. And now I have to do distributive property, so I get negative 2x minus 42x, and then 6 times 9 is 54, so that's minus 54 equals negative 10. I combine like terms, negative 44x minus 54 equals negative 10. Now I add 54 to both sides. I get negative 44x equals positive 44. So x equals negative 1. So now that we have x equals negative 1, we can find out what y is because we have an equation that tells us y equals negative 7x minus 9. So I'm going to say y equals negative 7 times x minus 9. And so in this case, negative 7 times negative 1 is 7 minus 9, so this is negative 2. So our x is negative 1 and our y is negative 2. And if we want to check to see if this one's right, we use our second equation and we plug in x and y. And so I say negative 2 times negative 1, so that's positive 2, plus 6 times negative 2, that's negative 12. Negative 2 plus negative 12 is indeed negative 10. So we have a really good idea that that is the correct answer. So those are the ways we do substitution. We had the equal values method and the true substitution.